guys and gals, and every here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's seven on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Beyond the Harbor. So y'all, before we jump into it, just want to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as five dollars. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming not safe for work videos. And we all let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm, Jane, you are up, and let's go. All right, <clears throat> I shake my head. I shake my head. I told you I'm not in the mood. This isn't what I wanted to do tonight. I make my way towards the stairs, but the cat follows closely behind me. Not having any of that, though. I turn around to face him, face him and open my mouth. No, Sam, I'm going to bed. Not giving him a chance to open his mouth again, I storm up the stairs, leaving my friend dumbfounded. My skull rattles in my head as I slam my door, my bedroom door shut. I press my fingers towards my head to stabilize it, but without much success. My mattress groans in agony as I plop my full weight on it, once, on it at once. Ah! A groan echoes throughout my aching head. God, what I wouldn't give for up. My thoughts are interrupted as my phone buzzes in my pocket. Trev? I quickly type a response. Hey, sorry. Hey, sorry if this is out of nowhere, but are you busy? No, what's up? Ugh. I wonder what he... Hello? Hey, Ollie. Oh, hey, Trev. What's up? Definitely wasn't expecting you to call me tonight. Or ever, for that matter. Um, yeah, sorry. I shake my head. Oh, don't apologize. You know I don't mind. It was just pretty out of nowhere. Did something happen? He's quiet. And I get a chance to hear his, his erratic breathing. And crickets? Uh, are you outside right now? He gulps. Yeah, I uh, needed to get out of the house for a bit. And, uh, um... He sobs quietly between words, leaving me hanging on every stumble. Trev, are you okay? He chuckles softly, letting out a soft whimper as he does. I'll be okay. I just want to... I just want to talk. Of course, I'll have time. I glare at my door. The cat's been quiet so far, but I have to be careful with him. How's your night been going? I sigh. Not exactly great. You'll never guess who I ran into when I was walking home from your from your place. No? What'd I miss? He chuckles. A whole lot. A whole lot. It's been two expansions since you played. You're 30 levels under the cap now. You can power level from 50 to 70, but the grind takes grind to 80 takes twice that time. Yeah? I rub my chin. I imagine it's a bit easier if you have a friend already at level 80 to escort you through the tough areas, though. Yeah, it is. I'd be super happy to do that for you any time. I'm not usually doing anything else. Just standing in town with my legendary tier gear until I pass her by notices. I, sm I smile. That's the true end game, huh? Heh. <laughs> he goes quiet for a bit, and I hear the whisper of his shaky breathing return in full force. I'm... My ears perk up a bit. My mind races to find a way to comfort him again. So you know. Thanks, Ollie. For talking to me, I mean. I, uh... He lets out an awkward chuckle before continuing. I feel a lot better. Oh, thank God. Of course. I'm glad you reached out to me, Trev. You know I'm free to talk any time, right? I'm... My brain stops forming my sentence as soon as I hear the first beep. Low battery. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck. Sorry, Trev. My phone's about to die. I gotta go. I'll talk to you tomorrow, though, okay? Oh? Um, all right, Ollie. You sure? Super sorry, dude. Good. I'm, inter I'm interrupted as my phone's screen fades to its logo and then to black. I grip it tightly for a second, considering spiking the stupid thing into the carpet. Oh, that seems like an awful idea. I rub my forehead, sighing, of, of course. Of course that's where it cut me off. See ya, Trev. I'll see you tomorrow. My eyes focus solely on the ceiling and my thoughts drift around. First on nothing, then on my life, and then nothing again. Finally, the horizon. Ah, <sighs> the horizon. I didn't get to go back and say goodnight to you, did I? My room grows dark as the moonlight pouring in through the window slowly dissipates. Breathe in, and out. This town's stale air is far behind me now. How far? Well, I have an idea. I step up from my bed and feel the little pebbles dig themselves under my nails. They're waiting for me, too. <laughs> I wave my hand 
hands around me as I walk. Nothing. Have I been walking in the same direction? I guess I'd find my bed again if I'd turned around at any point. Ooh. Only the moon. Don't blame the moon. Ah. There you are. Oh, that's beautiful. Keeps looking out at the ocean. The glow of the moon beautifully lights the waves as they lap at the shore, and she got her closer to my toes, inviting me back in, I guess. It doesn't matter how many times I see it. All I could hope to do is stare in awe. A smile paints itself across my face, though this doesn't feel like a particularly happy moment. In fact, the warmth I feel welling up in my feet screams at me to return to the darkness. There's a soft rustle as the void rears, its, uh, the void rears itself behind me. Shadowy feelers reaching out from its inky abyss. It slowly inches its way onto the beach, beckoning me to come back, to come home. But it doesn't matter. Yo, what the fuck? You got a monster in there? The lone figure, plated in flowing water, rises from the shallows to greet me. It takes a silent bow as it's birthed by the foam elegantly gaining its footing atop the water. The shade is dark, but not completely featureless. I had plenty of opportunities to look at it before, and yet... No, tonight will be different. I... I knew... I knew he would be here. My voice is shaky, and my words slur together into a mess of a sentence. I'm not even sure it came out as English. It didn't matter, though. He doesn't look back at me, instead facing out towards the sea. So, why did you invite me tonight? I don't usually come here unless you... unless you wanted to talk to me. Wait for a response, but the echoing pang of silence is pain to my aching heart. Everything, my, my everything hurts. A singular word comes to my mind. Why? It doesn't matter what I sound like, I repeat it again. Why? I sniffle, but still nothing. It becomes hard to think over the advancing darkness behind me, now within arm's reach. It latches onto my feet and feels warmth once again. There's nowhere left to run, near the edge of the world. I collapse in the sand, and it's in that moment I spot him standing on the horizon. He can't see me. Maybe he doesn't want to. Please. I'm left to beg, but I don't care anymore. The moonlight illuminates the waves as he casually steps upon them, heading into the horizon one foot at a time. I want to shout at him. I want to tell him to stop, but my voice was a catch in my throat. It always does. Don't you leave me here. I managed to mumble aloud, but it was said to, my, said to no one but myself. I'm too far gone. The silhouette, still definable despite its size, raises its arms as if to wave goodbye. I reach out, but it's all in vain as the abyss takes me into its soft embrace. I don't want to... I don't want to leave. Darkness floods my world again as the sea and everything in it vanishes into nothing. Yo, what is going on here? Is this a dream? I mean, no, he did fucking disappear. Yo, what is that? Hello, moon. Yo, what? Oh, shit. What is going on? Ah, it's fading. What the hell? Weird. I tap my foot impatiently. I see you doing that. Why don't we just hit in already? Sam's voice cuts the air like a claw through skin. I mean, I'm not the only one sick of waiting, obviously. He's been scratching at the same wound for maybe 20 minutes now, and he won't stop. I told Via we'd be waiting for her outside at 11. It's only just now 11.15. Stop worrying about it. <sighs> Excuse me. He groans, shoving his hands into his pockets. As much as I'd like to go in myself, I, pro I promise is a promise. I pull out my phone, but as soon as I see my reflection on the black screen, I shove it back into my hoodie's pocket. I forgot to plug the thing in last night after it had died. I was pretty peeved about it when I was getting re ready to leave. 
Now I have no way to call for help if a monster attacks us or something. Heh. <laughs> Monsters. Fuck this stupid phone. Listen, I'm just saying. I swear to God, what's your deal? Sam folds his arms and shoots me a glare. I'm hungry. We've been waiting out here for like 20 hours, and I want just, just want to order us a fucking sandwich or something. Okay, so... Then I had to go out of the way to pick him up. Remind me, why is he here? I gently cut my face with my hands, tired of explaining this. I told you, I asked him to come before you even showed up last night. As far as I knew, I was just going to be meeting up with V and Dawn by myself. Can you honestly blame me for watching and for wanting to bring a little backup? He rolls his eyes. I guess? But why him? The cat, without him crossing his arms, gestures towards the iguana. He wouldn't be my first choice to deal with your ex. In response, Trevely slinks further away. He's no good at hiding, of course, but as b being as big as he is. Stop it, dude! Sam shrugs. Fine, I get it. The cat digs his hands into his pockets and pouts a bit. I'd still really like to get something to eat. Alright, why don't you just eat back at the house? I had, like, cereal and shit. Sam, Sam grunts. I wasn't hungry then. I'm hungry now, okay? Are you sure this is even about that? I point a bony finger at him. Admit it, you're not even hungry. He tilts his head, but I'd already prepared this retort. I've known you since middle school. You ate barely any more than I did back then. Why would you just start getting sudden cravings now? The cat's glare becomes a little hurt as he backs off the offensive. <laughs> I don't know, okay? What about you, huh? What about me? You're fucking losing it, Sam. I, I'm i sorry. We're caught off guard as Trevor speaks, Trevor speaks up for the first time since we picked him up. I should have just walked walked here. Sorry for making you out of your way to get me. Trev, no. I know you wanted to walk here. I asked Sam to get you. I turned back to Sam. And you? You said you'd be down for whatever last night, didn't you? For whatever last night, didn't you? What's the big deal if Trev comes too, huh? I don't... I asked him to come. You just invited yourself. The cat's brow froze as I cut him off. His open mouth his open mouth closes into a disappointed frown. A groan. Ugh, look, I'm not mad at you, okay? Just cool with the attitude. Sam looks down and holds one of his arms behind his back. It's a little uncanny seeing that from anyone but Trev, who's currently rubbing his shoulder uncomfortably. Oh, good lord, I guess I am tired tonight. I just got done with an eight-hour shift, so... Oh, man. Oh, yeah, girl. Okay. We can head in, all right? I wanted to meet her out front, but I guess she's running behind. Sam seems genuinely shocked I caved in like I did. I guess I'm a little shocked, too. He looks me he looks me down over to Trev, then returns his, and then returns his gaze to me. Yeah, that's fine. He shakes his head and sighs, looking away from me. One step, two, then he dashes into the building. I turn my gaze over to Trev, whose eyes unglue themselves from the sidewalk and link with mine for maybe the second time today. Sighing, I take a step towards the iguana. Listen, Trev, don't... I'm cut off, however, as Trev suddenly takes a step back, raising his arms to defend himself. He quickly shakes his head, muttering apologies too quickly for me to fully understand. As his head turns, I catch another glimpse of the damage Trev's been hiding. A smallish patch of discolored scales underneath his left eye, lined with a long scar where the skin broke. He's been trying his best to hide it, which is to say, obviously... Neither Sam nor I dare bring it up. Alright, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. And check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for all I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for submitting your ultimate tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to not safe for more content as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.